What's up guys, Spartan117GW here, and I've got a really badass gun for you guys to check out today. Now, I've been actually working on this video for a while, but just because of work and everything, just hadn't had a lot of time, and then this whole coronavirus thing happened, so now everyone's like on self-quarantine, so what better time to really pump out some YouTube videos than now? So, this, if you guys don't know about the SIG M17, is based off the P320, which is what the US military adopted and became the M17. Um, and it basically became their whole modular handgun, essentially. They wanted a gun that had ambidextrous features, you've got the different su uh, style and size frames that they have for it, for different size shooters, you got the, uh, basically the whole plate up here that you can change out with like an optic and whatnot. So, they really threw in the kitchen sink with this gun for the US military, and I believe the Marine Corps is getting the M18, the compact version, um, but just from my experience, because I was never like super into SIG Airsoft guns, but um, v I think VFC, the OEM, has done a really, really good job um, in the, on the manufacturing side, and obviously SIG really having all the requirements for everything, making sure it's close enough to be a training replica also did a very good job. I mean, just the way it disassembles, I mean, the magazines, like, there's a lot of really fine detail here. The engravings are absolutely fantastic. I really dig the sights. I mean, the sights are pretty straightforward, but they're really nice, good quality sights on the gun, and again, the rear sight is attached to the plate, so you can put an optic on here. I'm presuming it's going to be ready for a SIG optic. Um, ambidextrous controls for the uh, safety and these mass slide release. The magazine release, it's not ambidextrous, but I believe you could switch it around. So, all kudos. I mean, that's kind of standard for most pistols anyways. Um, and I do really like how the magazine release feels. Like, even on Glocks, um, Glock magazine releases, in my opinion, don't really feel that great. So... Having a stock magazine release that works really well is really, really nice. Uh, one thing that this gun has a trick up its sleeve too is that it comes with a hop of adjustment right here. So what's cool is that if you're like the trainer or whatever, you know, not, not all your guys who are training with these guns or even first time airsoft guys will know how to disassemble the slide, which is really easy um, to get to the hop up. So with this, you basically put this on and you can turn it left or right. And there you go, there you're adjusting your hop up, which is the trajectory of the BB, uh, getting the ideal optimal trajectory, so that way, you know, point of aim, point of impact, essentially. Um, so that's one thing that's really cool. I think VFC as an OEM kind of implementing that in a lot of the guns is really good, and perhaps it was probably a stipulation from SIG Air as well. Um, you also have the magazines, which this gun will use green gas and CO2. Really cool, getting your money's worth depending on what you want to use. For Milsom guys, I'm going to recommend the CO2, 400 feet per second, um, 21 rounds in the magazine. Uh, for you indoor guys, probably going to be going to green gas. So kind of take that as you will, depending on, you know, I mean, it's cool that the gun can do both. Uh, but yeah, those, those are the different magazine styles and the different FPSs and kind of a little bit of the ups and downs of both. Like CO2 runs drier than green gas. Green gas is kind of self-lubricating a little bit. But green gas, you won't get quite as much power. And CO2 is pretty consistent. I mean, I'll fire off a couple shots with the CO2 just so you can see just how much movement this has. Let's see, safety's off. There we go. I'm only holding the gun that weird way so I can hold down the slide release, but it feels really good. I mean, CO2, lots of kick. If you're doing training, definitely go with the CO2 setup. Uh, but really really liking this gun the look and the feel i mean when i saw this gun i was like that that's an airsoft gun this thing looks fantastic um so yeah no this is definitely a really knockout job when it comes to how the gun's built how it's presented really really well done so uh, when it comes to all the other airsoft handguns that i've seen and especially because this one's in peanut butter too i'm really really liking this so the only thing i really need to do is find a holster for this bad boy so i'm gonna have to hit up safari land see what I can find um, so I can run this in games and stuff like that. So make sure to check it out. SIG Air, guys did a great job. Uh, if you guys are looking for places to buy the gun, you can either get it from SIG Air or you can get it from EVIC. Um, a lot of cool places. Um, EVIC has a bunch of these too if you want to check those out. Uh, but yeah, so check out the SIG M17 badass airsoft gun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep sharpening that sword. This is Spartan117GW. See you guys next time.